What is going on YouTube? Nathor Gaming here bringing episode 3, game 1. Reverse the Detroit Pistons. Let's get into it. But in this game, it is a close one. Absolutely close all the way until the end. Now look at this cheese right here. Rudy Gay stealing the ball, giving it to Amir Johnson. That that was a that was a foul. In my opinion, that was a foul. The defender tried to reach in as I was trying to run to the basket. And in this game, Calderon went off. He wanted to get revenge on his old team, and he did just that. Like, giving that ball, who's this? Rudy Gay. I'm just kidding. I know who that was. Rudy Gay goes off as well as Calderon. Like, what? look at this cheese. Look at this cheese. Look at that shot clock cheese, as Chris Move would say. I don't get how that would go in. And look, he, he like... He has nine points right now out of their nine points. Matt, ooh. Like, they have more highlights in the beginning than I do. Like, after that, they're just scoring some easy points. But look at that pass to Rudy Gay. Next possession later, coming back up the court. I give it the exact same thing. Rudy Gay stuffs it in with the two-handed slam once again. Rudy Gay. Kyle Lowry. Oop. To the Kendrick Perkins. I thought he was going to make a dope slam out of that but no he just had to do a little tip Kendrick Perkins I don't know if he does not do good in the next game which is game two if he does not do good in the next game we might have to get rid of him and just use Aaron Gray because Aaron Gray goes off look at that and one by Rudy Gay and you know what he does makes that free throw Coming off the break, John Lucas gives the alley-oop, and it goes in somehow off Terrence Ross's head. Terrence Ross went terrible from the field with the up and under from Jonas. Jonas and Aaron Gray are actually so underrated in this game. Their overalls may not be high, but look, I messed up that pass, but Michael Pietras gets that back with the two-handed slam in traffic. That was a really bad pass on my part, and John Lucas hitting the mid-range two there. I think my team, just playing with him by the first game, and I'm going to mess with him. QJB now. I went from Chris Move to QJB. Terrence Ross, he actually misses that. Rudy Gay puts it back up. If you guys watch, Terrence Ross has n barely any points. I don't get why Stucky did not shoot that, but give me that rebound. Perry Jones gives it to Rudy, stops on the dime, pops it up for three, and then goes splashity splash splash. That was terrible. Okay, Calderon comes in. Like, look at that great out of pass. I had to throw that in there because that was a great pass. He had a double-double in this game. And look at that oop to DeRozan. DeRozan also did terrible at the beginning. But look how close this game is. Like, it's so close. It's only 10 points. That's it. Now it's 6. Like, I did bad at the beginning. Calder own. Look at that huge stuff. Like, I'm pretty sure that was Calder own. It could have been Singler. Singler. Whatever the hell his name is. Kyle Singler. He got 30 points in this game as well. But look at that rebound. I see you. I see you. Go up, Michael Pietras with the two-handed slam. Best six man you can ask for in this game. He did everything that I needed him to. Comes off the bench, gets the intensity up. He had a, quite a few huge slams in the game. Aaron Gray, look at Aaron Gray being a point guard. Look, leaving Michael Pietras way open, popping that up for the mid-range too. Rudy Gay, why you jumping, baby? Don't jump. Like, Hall of Fame, it's not fun. It's fun, but it's not at the same time. I don't play Hall of Fame, but in this game, I thought I'd try it because Detroit's a bad team, but I kind of even regret. Like, Detroit should not even have close at the score right now. And look at that, hitting that three with John Lucas. They should not even be competing, competing right now. I don't even know what I'm talking about. I said I was going to upload this video yesterday, but all I was tired and I was playing Call of Duty and 
all of that fun stuff but I was so tired but I'll have all of the next videos out soon episode 4 and look at that steal Michael Petrus and he misses and that's going into the half that was a pretty good solid effort 55-53 I'm only down by 2 points but in the third right now I'm, it's tie game but look at Monroe okay their center and power forward I'm not gonna name them all cause even their bench out rebounded me way too much way too much look at Michael Pierce just hitting the 3 just to prove my point Rudy Gay with the steal John Lucas you know you're gonna give that too Rudy Gay for the oop but like Monroe he had so many offensive rebounds in this game like it wasn't even funny Amir Johnson just could not do anything he could not grab any boards Aaron Gray was grabbing the rebounds like nothing but as you see there getting off topic Rudy Gay with 30 points like, I was trying to get DeRozan in the paint, but Kyle Lowry was wide open, gives him a pump fake, and hits the three. That's what we do in T.0. Kyle Lowry, oh, look at that. Look at that pass to Andre Drummond. Andre Drummond, I want to trade Perkins for Andre Drummond. Let me know if that's a good idea in the comments below. I think that, that would be a pretty decent trade. Andre Dr Drummond has, like, really bad overall in this game, but, man, can he play. The rebounds that he was grabbing, I cannot even describe. As you see, Pietris cutting, cutting the defenders and going in with the slam. And if you guys want to hate on this video, you guys can go ahead and hate. This is my third ever commentary. I'm still getting better. Kyle Singler, like... He's a no name. Like you, you guys can argue the fact that he has a name in the NBA, but I don't know. I feel that he doesn't have that big of a name. But in this game, he played like he was an all star. He absolutely played like he was an all star. But look at DeRozan going in with a Michael Pietras looking slam. Talking about Michael Pietras, he gives the ball to Kyle Lowry, who hits a three. Kyle Lowry struggled in this game. 10 from 22 for threes. As you can see, I was trying to hit those threes crazy. But look at this late game steal. Rudy Gay. Oh, goes in. I was just about to pass that, but I was like, nah, Rudy. Rudy got to steal the show. Rudy got to do it all. But look at Maxwell. Maxwell he also had a lot of offensive rebounds for a short guy. He's, he's not the tallest guy, but man. Like, proves my point right there. Gets the offensive rebound. Puts it back up. Coming in the last minute of the fourth quarter, Rudy Gay, he's wide open. Take this shot. There's no point of putting trust in your teammates when you can pop that up You're by yourself. But Rudy Gay, look at this. Going in with the slam. It was a LeBron looking slam. 117, 113. Calderon's coming down. Gives it to Singler. Got blocked by Rudy. And that's everything for this game play. And enjoy the Rudy Gay player of the game montage and I'll be back in about 30 seconds talking about the end game stats see you there this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for watching the NBA presented by 2K Sports and now Jordan presents our player of the game Rudy Gay We're back. Hopefully you like that Rudy Gay montage. But look at Rudy Gay. 40. I think that's 42 points or 47 points. I really can't see right now. Kyle Lowry has a double-double. Michael Pietras with 14. Doing pretty good for his first game as a six-man. But Terrence Ross struggled. 
3 from 13 from the field. Aaron Gray. Aaron Gray had a pretty good game. Coming off the bench, he barely had any minutes. But I distributed the minutes pretty good. But look at Kendrick Perkins. Only 2, two points, 4 rebounds. He did not do good in this game at all. But let's go ahead and look. let's look at theirs. And there we go. 26, 24. Calderon had a double-double. He did good in this game. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace. Hey, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Nathor, out. Remind you of what you're not or something you won't be. You gotta take what you're given. That's how we live it. Don't be mad at the system. It's simply how we've existed. I hear a lot of people.